Hello everyone, how you doing? My name's Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and uh, this is for Wednesday the 20th of September but it is a timeless reading so whenever you find this is when it was meant for you. So pile number one, I've gone with like chakra crystals today again so you know you might be attracted to the pile um, and or you may be attracted to you know, there may be a message for you about working on that particular chakra, okay? So pile number one is the orange calcite, which is for the sacral chakra. Pile number two is the um, uh, the pyrite, which is for the solar plexus chakra. And pile number three is the blue appetite, which is for the throat chakra. Um, if you want to know more about how to open, like how to check to start off with, an easy way to check if your chakras are open or closed, you should head over to my other channel, uh, How to Train Your Caspillar, my spiritual life coaching channel. I have a video there on uh, a really easy way to check if your chakras are open and closed, um, which ones you need to work on. And also, I am taking one-to-one -one spiritual life coaching like sessions at the moment on Zoom, so if you're interested in that, I would love to work with you. The link is in the description box below the video. Okay, move this guy out of the way. And I'll move this guy. Okay, pile number one, the orange calcite. Okay. Why well, your cards are going all over the place. <laughs> okay. You have the three of scrolls and the seven of scrolls. Okay. So there's something that you're doing or something that you're headed towards, it may feel like it's taking a long time because that's what this card talks about. Um, he's building a cathedral and what, what they actually say in this card is, you know, the, the cathedrals that you see in like Europe and things, you know, the reason that they still stand today is because they were built with such love and such care, <coughs> excuse me, um, that the foundations are very, very stable. You know, that's why they've lasted so long, but it takes time. You know, you can't rush perfection, <laughs> pile one. And this one talks about, like you're setting a course for something. There's something that you have your eye on that you wanna do. Um, and you've been, you know, building it up, like you've been building a foundation for this. So. If you're doing something and it's taking a long time and you're getting a little frustrated, um, <clears throat> excuse me, or, you know, this could be about anything, I'm not sure yet, but Spirit just wants you to know that you're fine. You know, it's it might seem like it's taking a long time, but there's a very, very strong uh, foundation being built, okay? So it's not a waste of time and you're not in the wrong place. <laughs> like the Seven of Pentacles. That's funny. <laughs> so, there's definitely something here about, um, yeah, something's been taking some time. But with the seven, you know, the seven of pentacles is about planting seeds. So there's something you've been planting seeds. And it may seem like it's taking a long time, but I actually feel like it may be about to flourish because that's what the seven of pentacles talks about you know, the harvest, like, but something, you know, you had to, whatever this is you're building, you had to, you know, water the seeds and nurture them and love them. What else have you got? Ooh, you got the six of wands and the six of pentacles, two sixes. Where do I want to put these? Like that. I want to put them like that. So this is success. The Six of Wands can talk about actually being in the spotlight in some way um, or being in charge or like a leadership position, something like that. And the thing is with the Six of Wands, now that could be with anything. You know, that could be like you're taking, let me just get it focused, you know, a managerial position at your job or you're applying for, you know, promotions or something that you do is really going to take off, it's really going to succeed. Um, but people are going to be really happy that you've succeeded. That's what the Six of Wands talks about. Like someone that is, uh, you know, very well received because the Six of Wands talks about someone that's 
like they've worked hard to get there. You know, they have, like they're personable and they're warm and people are just, they're happy that, like to see them do well. You know, so say for example, it's yourself and you're getting promoted within your work. People, like your other people that maybe you used to work with, they're actually gonna be happy for you. They're gonna be like, yeah, like that's good. You know, you deserve that. You're a great person to work with. Like we, we don't mind working for you kind of thing. But um, yeah, the Six of Wands talks about success and it talks about success coming after, you know, a delay. Because, <laughs> the, the, you know, the original Six of Wands shows someone that's coming back from a war, like a Roman triumph. And, you know, like I always say with that card, you know, the Roman wars often lasted for like 15, 20, 10, 10, 15, 20 years, like a long time. So this could be in something that you were building for years. I don't know what is going on with my lights. Like whenever I try and do readings with these lights, they keep turning on and off and then I try them and they're fine. So I don't know if it's like uh, a fault with the light or spirits just messing with us. I don't know. But <laughs> um, the two sixes as well, sixes in tarot talk about, you know, moving into a period of like things being more smooth. That's what I feel is coming in for you. It's like you've put in the work and now is the time for success. I feel you're very giving as well. Whatever this is you're doing, you know, because they're both cards like this woman is giving, you know. So like if you're a boss, for example, you know, you're you're more than happy to help out and pitch in and you do your fair share. It's not like, you know, those bosses that you get that's like they just stand there and watch you and do nothing. <laughs> um <clears throat> It's not that type of energy with you. So that's why people are going to be happy for you. But it could well be something that you're going to be in the spotlight. And if that is the case, I feel you've kind of been being prepared, you know, for this success or this position in the spotlight. That's why it had to grow slowly. Um, so with the Six of Pentacles, Let's pull a card on that because, I don't know, yeah, let's pull a card. What's the Six of Pentacles? You know, I want to say as well, um, when the seven, when the sevens crop up in tarot, it usually means that there has been a, sh a short resting period. So, because obviously, you know, you have one to six, which is like all the activity and there can be broken hearts and betrayals and things in there and then you get to seven and it's almost like spirit gives you a little bit of time to rest before you move on to you know completing the cycle so that may be what's happened for you like you went through a lot and spirit decided to give you a little bit of a rest i also see this queen of cups here who wants to come out so pile number one there's been something about you learning boundaries all right and I just saw the emperor. I feel like some of you are gonna step into a leadership position. So it was very important for you to learn boundaries, you know, because obviously if you're in a leadership position of any kind, you're gonna to have to deal with people. And it's important to have boundaries to be able to push back when you need to, you know, and establish your, you know, especially if you're gonna be in charge, like you have to establish some level of authority, otherwise there's just gonna be chaos, right? <laughs> like that's what managers do. So I, I feel you, there was some time where you had to, you know, learn to stand up for yourself kind of thing. I also saw the two of pentacles in reverse in, while I was shuffling there. So if you've been trying to balance like two jobs or you've been struggling to make ends meet or you've just had to work really hard you know, you've had like multiple projects on the go, that's about to finish because you're gonna get this success now, okay? And it seems to be like hard earned. Um, what's this Six of Pentacles? But that's why people are happy that you have it, pile one, because you've earned it. You know, and you, you do have that sacral chakra crystal um, the orange citrine, the, the sacral chakra deals with self-worth, guilt, shame, 
all this kind of stuff. I see the Ten of Pentacles trying to crop out, so all right. If the Ten of Wands came out in reverse here, so I feel a lot of you have been carrying a lot by yourselves or that, you know, you've just, you know, it's been a hard road, right, with that Ten of Wands because, you know, look at that, he looks tired or she struggling up that hill with all that stuff. But that's about to end, okay? Like that, that tough journey is about to end. What is the Six of Pentacles? They're not gonna give me another card until I see it. Um, <laughs> I feel there may be someone watching your progress, pile one. You see there's a little guy here with the binoculars <laughs> or his little telescope. So there may be someone watching you succeed, okay? Yeah, I just saw the Seven of Wands. There's someone watching you stand out in some way. Like you're standing out in some way about something that you're doing. And I think it's because people like you. I think that's what it is. Um, yeah. Okay, what's the Six of Pentacles? But you will be very giving because you're the Queen of Cups here as well. Yeah, they, there's something they don't want to tell you about this, okay? I kind of felt like that <laughs> when I was shuffling because the cards weren't coming out. There's some, um, I, I, I don't know exactly what this is, but it's like there's some, like an offer coming or someone. Hmm. It's like help from the universe or someone that's in a position to help you is going to help you like you're being headhunted. Or something like that. But it's almost like you're already successful <laughs> when this person comes in or something. But there's there's like an element of mystery about this. that um, it's maybe not the right time for you to know, okay, about this person. I feel there's someone that's got their eye on you, so I don't know if you're being headhunted or, yeah, something like that. You know, someone's watching you do well, and then it's like, they're, they're gonna offer you like another opportunity maybe, you know? So, that was your message, pile number one. I'm slightly cryptic, but <laughs> I guess you're not supposed to know right now. Um, I hope it was useful anyway. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching and as always I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care. Pile number two, uh, you are the pyrite. So this is the little dude that's good for the solar plexus chakra, the pyrite. Okay, so you have, ooh, okay you have the Two of Keys, the treasure, excuse me, and you have the uh, Divine Physician, number six. Okay, this card here is kind of hard to see that card, but you see there's like a mess, everything's a mess, right? And this guy's like, oh my God, it's like everything's such a mess, what am I gonna do? But right here behind him, there's a treasure chest. So it's like the room has been ransacked, like he's been robbed or something, like I, I think that's what the card says. But um, there's this box of treasure, like this box of gold that they didn't get. So basically the meaning of this card is that, uh, you know, you may have been through some kind of harsh period or some kind of harsh lesson. Um, or, you know, you felt like 
things didn't go right for you in some way. And this could have been an experience with one person or it could have been your whole life. <laughs> could literally vary that much. But the thing is, through going through this experience, you've revealed some kind of treasure that you would not have seen otherwise. Um, or there was like a hidden inner treasure about yourself that you would not have known otherwise. And I think it's you've discovered that you're you're a healer. You're a divine physician. You see here? This is you. So, like, whatever this was that you went through, you know, whether it was multiple karmic connections or you had a shitty childhood or um, whatever it was, you went through it in order to be able to discover that you are a healer because it's like you had to heal yourself. So now that you've done that, you're going to heal other people, if you see what I mean. And that is how healers are discovered, <laughs> pile number two, you know, because that's how you teach other people how to do it. You heal yourself and then you teach others, right, which is the spiritual path usually. And there's lots of ways that you end up teaching other people, you know, like you could write a book about your experiences or you could open like a Reiki business, for example, you know, because the thing is, if you're opening, doing something like a Reiki business, you are teaching people about spirituality because you're going to get people that have never been involved with spirituality that come to you, for example, for a Reiki healing, you know, and Reiki is very powerful. It heals the body and often like past life experiences come up during Reiki sessions. So, you know, I've talked to many people that Reiki, for example, or like the tarot or past life regression or whatever it is, has been the thing that's made a believer out of them. You know, it's that thing that's made them be like, oh my God, like, it's real, you know? So you might teach people in that way. Okay, you have the Page of Wands. You have Justice. Oh, you've definitely been through a lot. And you have the King of Pentacles. See, the Page of Wands talks about like a renewed perspective on something, you know, whatever this was that you went through, and it, like I said, it could be your whole life, <laughs> or it could be one thing, excuse me, <coughs> um, I'm just going to get a drink, hold on, sorry pile two, um, yeah, like the Page of it's it's like um, whatever this was that you went through, it gave you a renewed perspective about life, about yourself. Like, for example, you know, maybe you had a karmic relationship with someone or multiple karmic relationships and it made you realize that you found yourself in these toxic connections and it made you do your shadow work and then it, you know, it helped you to identify that part of yourself that was sort of subconsciously seeking these people out and now you've broken the pattern, for example, you know. You've definitely been through a lot though. And I feel you see things very clearly now. And it's almost like you are you have some kind of job where you're gonna end up showing other people how to see as well. I feel you've been through a lot, you know, with this justice card here, because there's like two little kittens fighting here, but just for today, like they, they actually seemed quite savage to me and like, she's, you know, she's lost an eye and it's like throughout everything that you've been through, you've managed to stay balanced and graceful and dignified, even though you've been through a lot and you know the spiritual laws. There's something about the spiritual laws that you've been applying, I think, without even realizing it. But you may have had a lot of like people around you that, I don't know, you, you came from chaos or you attracted people that came for you or there was like a lot of nasty energies around you, but you yourself have maintained this kind of graceful, dignified exterior, even though, you know, you're like a wounded warrior.
And the justice card is about truth. I feel one of your jobs in some way is to show people the truth. Okay? Like a, a bringer of truth. But you're a healer in some way with that divine physician. Like the things that you show people or the, the truth that you give to people like heals them. Um, what is this King of Pentacles? But you know, it's not pleasant at the time. Like, what you've been through has been very unpleasant. You may have felt like bereft, like you lost everything. You know, some of you may have lost everything. You know, you may have had to walk away from everything. What is this uh, king of... But it made you stronger. You know, it made you find that light inside of yourself that you didn't know you had. You know? Because I had to do that. I had to walk away from everything. But um, it does make you realize that, you know, even when you're by yourself, there's always this... You always have you. You know? There's always this like light inside you that doesn't go out. And especially when you develop that connection with spirit, you know, you're, you are absolutely fine. Even if you have to walk away from everything, you can rebuild yourself because you have like a strong sense of self and you have that connection with spirit. And that may be why the solar plexus is coming up for you with that crystal. You know, you may have had to discover your own sense of personal power again. Or maybe you never had it, <laughs> like through these, um, <clears throat> like through whatever this was that it went, you went through, and now you're going to show other people how to do that, okay? What is this King of Pentacles? Yeah, I feel this is going to attract abundance to you, because the Pyrite is about abundance, and the King of Pentacles, obviously, you know, is, um, oh, my throat's going, <laughs> about abundance. So I feel this will attract you a lot of abundance, this, this healing path that you're on. Um, you have the Six of Swords here, so there's a, an energy of moving away from chaos. You know, you're just done. Because obviously the preceding card is the Five of Swords. <laughs> funnily enough, and um, the Five of Swords can talk about narcissistic relationships, codependency, toxic connections, uh, being in a bad headspace, and it, it literally talks about just throwing your swords down and walking away. So a lot of you may have had to do that. But I feel you may actually be walking to, I feel this may be a person as well, I feel like you're going to have your own money. from like some kind of healing business or like a book about your experiences or something like that. You know what I mean? Or like, you know, maybe like I said, you ended up getting into Reiki and you're going to build a business and it's going to be very lucrative for you. But I also feel this could be a person that you're headed towards. You may be headed towards someone else who's also a healer. Um, and I'm just noticing like a light on this person. So... And there's like a little crowd around them so maybe you're going to be in the spotlight or this person's in the spotlight or like if they're not in the spotlight they're very well liked you know they almost have like an angelic quality to, to them um but i noticed that i'm kind of framing the cards around this person so they might have like a very kind of magnetic energy or Something like that. Um, but they, I think, will have their own business. Yeah, look, the emperor is coming out too. Um, so I think this person will have their own business for a lot of you. Or they'll be very successful in what they do. It's like boss energy. You know, the king of pentacles is like boss energy. I feel you guys are like, you're, yeah, you're just done. You're just running away from, not, not running, you're leaving. Or you've left a lot of stuff behind and you're just like, okay, bye. <laughs> See ya. Screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> um, 
Let's get one more because that little space there looks bereft. Can we have one more card for pile two? Oh, yeah, you've really been through a lot, pile number two. The nine of swords is like sleepless nights and chaos and worrying and just... Everything may have felt very messy because both of those cards are really similar. It's like someone robbed them. It's like, you know, it's like he or she's been robbed or maybe you suffer from depression or things have just been really messy for you for a long time but you may feel that someone robbed you or like you were you had things stolen from you something like that but you're tough you fought back you like I'm just looking at this cat like and the thing is like it's not like you weren't nasty or aggressive or anything it's just that you learned to stand your ground you know so you're very much in this energy now because I think because you've been through so much, like you are still this very like loving and compassionate healer. Um, but you know, kitty can scratch. <laughs> it's like, don't fuck with me. You know, that type of energy, which is the perfect balance is what you want, right? Like, you know, being really sweet and loving, but having those boundaries that someone knows if they try and cross you, then there's going to be, you know, consequences, right? <laughs> Basically. So that's your message. Pile two. Ah, that's really lovely. Um, that's your message. I hope it was useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. <laughs> Dropping everything. Many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care. And pile three, you guys with a blue appetite. So. Uh, that is a throat chakra crystal. So you got these are the major arcana in this deck. So. You have the muse and you talk, you have the, the scribe here. Okay, the first thing that's coming through is I can tell straight off, some of you are writing a book or you're writers or you're like a blogger or some, something to do with writing, specifically writing. If that's the case, sorry about the focus. If that's the case, there's like if you've had, if you've been like having block blocks in your writing, that's gonna pass, okay? There's almost gonna be like divine inspiration coming for you, and I feel it's something to do with your throat chakra. So, if you feel called to to work on your throat chakra, you know what? I would just check because it it might help you. Like if you're suffering from writer's block. Or, this is more general now, creativity block. For anyone that's suffering from a block in creativity, speaking, singing, writing, creating art, anything like that, I would head over to my other channel, How to Train Your Caterpillar, and look for the video that tells you how to open, like, how to check if your chakras are open, okay? It's really easy. And then you can find out which ones, like, if this chakra's blocked. And then you can look up the videos I have there about how to open it because it may be if you're struggling creatively, there's a block in your throat chakra, okay? Because they're, they're linked. But you should know that, that this block's going to be removed, like this creative block you've been having, whether you're a writer or anything else, it's, it's going to be removed. I feel there's something divine about it. Like you may have some... divine creation that you're going to make like it might be something spiritual okay oh you got four tarot cards okay you have you have the lovers <laughs> you have the ace of cups okay and you have the knight of pentacles and the queen of pentacles hmm I'm gonna sit with this for a minute, hold on. Hey, pile three, I also took a cheeky <laughs> swig of my drink. Um, what did I call you? Pile three, sorry, pile three. Um, 
So you're going to be making, there's a few messages here, so bear with me, but I think I'm still going to have to pull cards. There's like a, something to do with a business or making money or working from home to do with communication or writing or something creative, okay? Because you have the blue appetite and you have the muse. So the, the blue appetite is about like the throat chakra, like I said, which relates to art, creating expressions of the self. So that is art in general. And art is obviously quite a broad spectrum. So that could be writing, it could be, you know, painting, sculpting, speaking, making YouTube videos, making movies, writing scripts. Um, it can even be like, you might become inspired to like counsel people, maybe you've been feeling a bit blocked as a counsellor or something recently. You're, you're about to get past this block. And I feel, or even if you're not blocked, I just feel there's a message that it's almost like divine inspiration is going to start coming through you, pile three, and it's going to make you money with the Queen of Pentacles. I would say like you will be, you'll do quite well, <laughs> pile three. You'll be comfortable, okay? I also feel there's a, like a, there's some kind of opportunity to learn because th this, this card, the scribe, it talks about learning. It talks about some kind of opportunity to learn. Um, and that Knight of Pentacles is, is an offer coming in. It could even be a person. Like this card here can talk about a teacher. So you may meet someone or there may be someone coming into your life or some kind of opportunity for you to learn something. It's almost like, this is quite a specific message, but you have so many love cards here in the middle. I almost feel it's like a, a business opportunity that turns into love or a friendship even. Like, if it's friendship, you guys are going to be like really good friends. <laughs> um, I don't mean in that way. I just mean, it's, it's like your little partner in crime, you know, like your little soulmate. You're just going to be like, oh my god, I love you. <laughs> you know, even if it's just a friend, but... If it's love, I feel like you're going to be you're like two, two, two peas in a pod. Like, again, partner in crime type energy. But they could be like a teacher, especially, um, yeah, like they might have knowledge to give you or something like that. But they might also have some kind of business opportunity with this Knight of Pentacles. Also, they could be younger. Because, like, I always get that with these two, you know, when you have a queen and a, a knight. It doesn't have to be, but it, it could be that they're younger. Or you're, you're more, um... Mature, maybe? But I feel it's a new person. And, honestly, it's, it's either, like, they're going to turn into a really good friend or you guys are going to end up dating. Sorry about the camera. If you're going to date, I feel like it's going to it's going to be like you are each other's muse. Yeah, you see that? I didn't even notice that. It's like you're each other's muse, you know? Like this person inspires you and you inspire them and you're very similar. I feel like once this person comes into your life, honestly, you might be a little inseparable. <laughs> like, even if it, you know, like I said, it just turns out to be a best friend. Just. Like, that makes it less. <laughs> like, that makes it less then, but... Um, yeah. Inseparable. I wonder if they'll give us anything about this person or this offer. Because I feel it's an, it's, a, it's an offer. Okay, what is this Knight of Pentacles? So that could be, um, you know, it, that's quite broad. That's why I'm kind of, I'm going to pull a card and see if they can narrow it down for us. But I guess it'll just be different for different people. It could be an opportunity to learn, you know, so you might apply for a course and get on if that's resonating with you. Or like you might apply to do a degree and get accepted into the course or something. Right, it could be that. Or it could be a date or it could be like, you know, someone that, offers you a position and it turns into love. What is this Knight of Pentacles? Or it turns into a really good friendship. 
Yeah, because I feel you're both creative because you have the blue appetite here, so it's like you kind of bounce off each other, you know? Whoa, hello. Oh, you have the hermit. Um, there's something to do with this offer that's like, it's like knowledge. And I want to say for some of you, it could be spiritual knowledge, which is quite like a nuanced thing, but it's something for someone out there who's watching because the Akashic scribe obviously is, you know, knowledgeable. Actually, I mean, if you want to get technical about that, that would be Metatron, like God's scribe or the Akashic scribe is Metatron. So this may even be, I'm sorry, I can't narrow this down anymore, but there might be multiple things coming in. This could be, yeah, there's definitely a person, I'm sorry to jump around, but for some of you, you're going to end up working with Metatron, okay? Obviously, you're not going to date Metatron, <laughs> okay? That's a separate thing, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, I don't think he would want to date Metatron, he's quite formidable. Um, <clears throat> he, he's the guardian of the Akashic Library, getting super woo-woo now, but he's he's like the keeper of the Akashic Records, so... <clears throat> this may be someone that wants to work with you. It might be someone that's going to come in for you and you're going to end up working with Metatron. You may find that you're drawn to go in to your Akashic records and see what's there. Uh, just to go on a, on a bit of a tangent here, if you haven't done this, I mean, you are fully within your rights to go and have a little rummage around in your Akashic records. You might not want to rummage too much, but um, it's fun to go and learn your real name. <laughs> There's that you can look this up on YouTube. There's meditations that you can do to go and learn like your your real name before you came here and you got your human muggle name. <laughs> okay, if you wanted to do that. But some of you are going to end up working with Archangel Metatron. Okay, which if you don't resonate with an archangel, you know it's just something people call him. Um, he has different names. There's no like you know, religious undertones there really, okay. But there's something like, yeah, see like you have the two of cups here. There's some, I feel like some of you are going to meet like a romantic partner or a best friend. Honestly, it's like two peas in a pod. You're going to spend, it's like once this person comes in, that's it. Like you're just, it's like you spend all your time together. But they, they might be very spiritual you know, with the Hermit and the Akashic Scribe. Like they might have a lot of spiritual knowledge to teach you, um, or this is a period of you learning a lot. You know, if you don't resonate with this person coming in, it's it's a period where you're gonna be learning a lot about spirit spirituality or a, a certain, for a lot of you it's spirituality, but a certain topic you know, that would be relevant to your field. But you're gonna become, I feel it's a person though. I feel you're gonna become very close with this person. And let's get one more for that queen. They might teach you how to meditate as well. You know, cause she looks very peaceful in that hermit card. Can we have one for that queen of pentacles? the six of wands again so that came out in one of these other piles I think I can't remember which one um <laughs> wasn't even that long ago <laughs> like I don't know it's just I'm, I don't know I feel kind of spacey at the moment still because I'm sure um I was watching a video I only watched a little bit of it by Victor Otto and he was saying something about the energies being like like this like a shift of energies in September I feel like a lot of people have shifted and I've just been, I've been feeling like so spacey the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been kind of fun, <laughs> but at the same time, like I keep, I don't know, I keep losing stuff and like forgetting things. Um, so there's something here about like a success, right? Whatever this creative thing is that you're going to do. There's quite a few messages here. Stick with me, okay? Um, it's like I said, it's something creative that you're going to do. A lot of you have your own business for this. Um, 
And you know, when I say creative, I'm talking about like counseling, you know, alternative medicines, alternative, you know, like hypnotherapy, all this kind of stuff. Uh, but you're going to be successful. The Six of Wands is definitely success. But you may be in the spotlight in some way with the Six of Wands here. You know, like your business is going to do really well or like your, your book is going to do really well or your blog is going to go viral or something. <laughs> okay, something like this. And you see how this little guy here is covered up? i show you. Hold on. i show you what I see. So, without making you sick. So, you see how you can see the girl, but the guy's kind of covered up, but they're still holding hands, right? So, I feel this person that's coming in, and I feel like for a lot of you, it's love. But even if it's a, like a best friend, it's going to be someone who supports you, and they don't mind that you're um, getting this success, you know? I don't know why that's coming through for you. Maybe you've dealt with a lot of people like, you know, romantic partners or friends in the past that weren't happy for you to have success. Um, you know, you, you felt like you had to dim your light or something like this in order to kind of, you know, so they didn't get angry or whatever. This, this person's not like that. They're going to be very happy for you to shine as an individual on your own. Like you're not going to get subsumed into this person but they're still going to be there supporting you, if you see what I mean, which is really lovely. So that is your message, pile three. I'm going to leave that there. I hope it was useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go check out my other channel, my spiritual life coaching channel, how to train your caterpillar. And um, also I am offering uh one-to-one -one spiritual life coaching session. So if you wanted to check those out, excuse me, I would be, sorry, um, I would be so happy to work with you. The link is in the description box. But as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.